And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Procomsignathus, which appears in both Jurassic Park books, not actually in the films. Comsignathus are the ones that appear in the films. Yeah, for some strange reason. Maybe just because it's more fun to say without the pro. Yeah, it might have been too long of a name otherwise. So in the books, they are a little bit venomous, and they like to attack in groups. They end up killing John Hammond at the end of the first book. I'd say spoiler alert, but that came out like 25 years ago. More. So you should have read it by now. Yeah, more than 25 years even. And then they have a smaller role in the second book. But this is to go along with all of the dinosaurs that we are covering that appear in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. And again, if you're a patron, you can hear our bonus content on this. So unlike the book, there's no evidence that in real life Procomsignathus was venomous. But it was a coelophysid that lived in the Triassic in what is now Germany in the Lowenstein Formation, and its name means before elegant jaw, and that comes from the name Compsignathus, pro, before, and elegant jaw, Compsignathus, and that's because Compsignathus lived later in the Jurassic. Procomsignathus looks similar to Compsignathus, but there's no evidence that it was a direct ancestor. It was found in 1909 by Albert Burer. The holotypes of an adult and included a crushed jaw, vertebrae, ribs, a forelimb, and hind limbs. Burer sent the fossils to Professor Erbehad Frost to the State Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart, and in 1911, Frost referred to it as Halopus celerimus and thought that it was a jumping dinosaur that helped show the origin of birds. And then in 1913, Frost officially named it Procomsignathus. The type species is Procomsignathus triassicus. In 1921, Frederick von Huhn referred two more specimens found in the same quarry back in 1908 to Procomsignathus, which included a partial skull and lower jaws and a left hand. However, there's controversy about von Huhn's referred specimens. John Ostrom in 1982 said that they were from a different taxon, and Fabian Nolan in 2006 and 2008 found that they were a crocodilomorph or some basal archosaur. Oh, way off then. Yeah. <laughs> then in 2012, Noel confirmed with a CAT scan that one of the specimens was a crocodilomorph. So there's a lot of debate over where to place Procomsignathus in the dinosaur family tree. It may be most closely related to Segasaurus halli. Just talked about that one. Procomsignathus lived in a dry inland environment. It was small and light and bipedal. It grew up to 3.3 feet or 1 meters long, though estimates vary. Gregory Paul thought that it could weigh 2.2 pounds or 1 kilogram and that it was 3.6 feet or 1.1 meter long. Procomsignathus had long legs, short arms, and claws. It was probably a fast runner, and it had a stiff tail. It had a slender snout with lots of small teeth, and it probably ate insects, lizards, and small prey. Other dinosaurs that lived in the same time and place included Coelophysoids, Halticosaurus, and Dolichosuchus, Sauropodomorphs, Pladiosaurus, and Ephrasia, as well as an unnamed Herrerasaur and some theropods, although only tracks have been found. And the type specimen of Procomsignathus is at the State Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart in Germany. 